including what the heck caused this wreck? Take a look at that. See how this car got stuck on a wire. Plus, Andy Ireland takes us back through the weekend sports, and that includes Sean Johnson's newest honor. That plus John Meyer has your Indy 500 highlights later in sports. But first, on this Memorial Day weekend, we go to Winterset. The flags are out for fallen heroes. It's all coming up after the break on News Channel 8 at 10. This is KCCI News Channel 8 at 10 with Todd Magel, Emily Price, meteorologist Curtis Gertz, and John Meyer Sports. We're proud to be Iowa's news leader. As the sun rose this morning, so did hundreds of American flags. KCCI photojournalist David Peterlins was in Winterset when it happened. A Memorial Day weekend is a lot of work. It's kind of a tradition. My, my dad used to come out. He was a Korean War veteran. Both my father and my grandfather are veterans, and I came to put up their flags and to help put up the other flags. I've seen this before. I've never not really been a part of it until now. It makes me feel good that people are willing to get up this early and come out and put some flags up and make it make it look good for Memorial Day. It's just fantastic the the amount of, of help uh, we get from the volunteers to help us out. Just it's just amazing. Okay, over here now. Are you sure? Well, we have 527 flags this year. 348 goes over here, Charlie. Every flag goes in the same spot each year. It's a uh, okay. really neat sight once it's all done. It's a great, really great feeling to see the flags and you're moving just a little bit in the wind. It used to be honoring the vets, now it's remembering what we've all done. It's sad because we're losing our veterans, but we're proud that we can remember them too. That's what the big thing is. Anyone wanting to see the avenue of flags at the Winterset Cemetery may do so all day tomorrow. The flags will be taken down tomorrow night.